You've decided you wanted to buy an acoustic piano, but there are so many kind of options out there. What do I even buy? Hi, I'm Jayza. I'm here to give you three things to think about before you buy your acoustic piano. So let's get into it. First, I just want to say congratulations because a real acoustic piano is the end goal for any pianist out there. If you started with a keyboard or a digital piano, congrats on moving on eventually to an actual piano. Uh, if you haven't had any digital or keyboard before and you're buying an acoustic piano from the get-go, congrats, because that's the best one out there. The level of responsiveness, the range of dynamics, and the tone color are some of the things that a digital instrument can never ever match a real one. Now, if you're a beginner student and you're just starting out on piano, it's unlikely you'd want to buy a grand piano because it's too costly and it takes up too much space. Okay. You probably want to get a piano like this, an upright piano that saves space, it goes against a wall, and it does great piano music. Now here are three tips I have on purchasing the best acoustic piano that you can for your buck. Now the first tip I have is to spend at least $5,000 on your piano. Now at this price range, it is not likely you're gonna get a really good new one. You probably have to get a second hand piano at that kind of price range. So um, before you actually purchase this piano, ask a ton of questions. Ask about things like warranty or if the piano has had any problems before. You are the customer, you have the right to know everything before you make the purchase. It's a big price, so ask, ask, ask before you buy, buy, buy. Tip number two is to avoid buying a piano with a bright and harsh sound. You wanna get something with more of a round and soothing sound. So it's probably a really good idea if you have someone in your family or one of your friends that plays the piano that can actually test out these pianos for you. Get them to come with you or perhaps it's your teacher, get them to come along with you to the piano store, play the piano, get their ideas on it. So I'm now going to demonstrate on my keyboard the harsh and bright sound that you are supposed to avoid and then later the soothing and round sound that you are looking for. Now, please don't be confused. I'm talking about a real acoustic piano here. If you're wondering why I'm using a digital keyboard to do my illustrations, I'm using this because I can do different types of sounds on my keyboard. So right now I'm on the bright piano sound. I recommend that you avoid any piano that sounds like this. You will hear in here that it sounds really bright and really harsh. We wanna avoid this kinds of piano. What you want to look for are pianos that have more of a round and a more soothing tone, like this one. Much, Much better, better, isn't it? Now, tip number three is to consider which kinds of brands you want to go with. I recommend these two Japanese brands. I recommend Yamaha and Kawaii. They're both really good pianos. I've used them really for all of my career. They've had consistently good results. They are priced not too highly, yet they provide a really good sound. They provide really good touch. Everything about them is pretty good. Don't go with Chinese brands. They're often quite cheaply made and they don't have the market history like some of the Japanese brands that I mentioned or some of the European brands that are way more expensive. So don't go with Chinese brands, go with either Yamaha or Kawaii. Those are my two recommendations. So there you go. Those were three things to think about before you buy your real acoustic piano. Hi, my name is Jayza. Like, give me a comment, subscribe to my channel, ask me some questions so I can answer them for you and I'll see you in the next video.